good morning, Ralph here, and I'm sitting down to my first uh, official breakfast of the uh, Fast Mimicking Diet Challenge. Uh, as, uh, as I promised, I'm using the Prolon method, so I have my first official breakfast uh, laid out here, and it consists of um, a tea. Instead of uh, their tea, I'm actually gonna use my own fasting tea from Immortality, uh, because instead of just being, you know, an herbal, like a regular herbal tea, it's actually designed to help people fast. So I'm going to use my own um, tea. As you can see, it's just a powder that dissolves. So I've got my hot water ready to go. And I'll be drinking fasting tea. So just give that a quick stir and we're ready to go with the tea. And breakfast consists of an L bar, um, which is a nut-based bar of some kind. I'm gonna open that now and let's see what that looks like. So, um, we'll leave my trash. This is what an L bar looks like. It's, uh, it seems like it's, um, you know, mostly nuts actually. Um, I took a bigger bite than I meant to, but yeah, it's tasty. It's sweet, nutty, and there's an algae oil uh, supplement that I'll take with that as well. So that's going to be breakfast. I'll be back with you guys at lunchtime. Bye. Hi, Ralph here, and it's lunchtime on day one of the Fast Mimicking Diet. Um, and lunch is tomato soup. So um, pretty simple to prepare. It's just, in fact, it couldn't be much simpler. Um, a cup of water and a package of soup. So we'll uh, pour this in here. Wait, get that all in. Stir it up, put some heat on, and uh, I'll be back to you in just a minute for the eating part. Hi, Ralph back again. So now the soup is ready, and I just want to show you the rest of what, uh, what I'm gonna be having. There are um, kale crackers with the soup and um, a couple of supplements to make sure that you're not missing out on micronutrients and um, some olives. So um, bon appetit, this is the lunch. Hi, Ralph back again. Um, I finished my lunch um, and you know, it, it, it was fine. It wasn't um, a gourmet meal by any, by any stretch. Um, but it was fine. Uh, I think the highlight was the uh, kale crackers. The olives are a little bit bland. Um, the soup is, you know, clearly instant soup. Um, but the crackers are actually pretty tasty. So, you know, I'm doing fine so far. It's day one. So, you know, um, I don't expect to be anything except fine so far. Um, but that's, uh, that's a report on lunch. See you next time. Hey everybody, it's me. I'm back for the last meal of the day. I skipped the preparation because there's really not much to see. It's just like the previous one. Um, the dinner is a minestrone soup. And I meant to grab the package and I, uh, I left it uh, sitting by the stove. But uh, it's just a minestrone soup, an instant soup. You just add the water and warm it up on the stove. Um, this one takes a little longer. And um, for dessert, a choco bar. Um, so looking forward to that. I will uh, prepare myself another cup of tea uh, after I finish eating the soup and do that. And I'll be back with you shortly with sort of a wrap up for the day with, uh, you know, feelings overall on day one. Hey everybody, uh, Ralph here again at the end of the day. This is the conclusion of day one of the fast mimicking diet five day challenge. Uh, I feel good. Um, you know, day one, at least when I did regular fasting, is one of the easiest days. The, you know, the hunger doesn't really kick in for me until sort of the end of day two or the beginning of day three. So the real challenge is going to be uh, then to see if there's a big difference between doing just prolonged water fasting versus the FMD. But so far, so good. Uh, you know, frankly, I ate enough today that I don't really feel like I was fasting, which is, I guess, the point of the fast mimicking diet. You, uh, your, your body thinks it's fasting, but, but you're, 
you're uh, mentally and, and physically, you don't feel like you're fasting. So I, I think, you know, mission accomplished there. The Prolon meals were, um, you know, not gourmet, but they were good and they were filling and they couldn't be any more convenient. So I think that's a win too. So, you know, that's occlusion of day one. My energy levels are high. I, uh, I don't really feel hungry and uh, don't, don't frankly feel like I was fasting today. So that's, uh, that's all good stuff. I hope your five day, fa day one of your five day fast is going great as well. Uh, pop into the forum and leave a comment uh, and let everybody know how it's going for you and comment on other people's posts. If somebody is, needs a little encouragement or you know, someone says they're doing good or they had a win, then you know, sh share, share the love. All right, we'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Take care, good night.